Hello YouTube. I have not made a Psyche video in quite a long time. So I figure while I'm waiting for the the big premiere of my grammar video on Valentine's Day at 11:11, I'll put this out there in the meantime. And what I'm going to talk about in this Psyche video is the psychology behind the way we convey our communications, more specifically the way I convey mine and the position that I take behind that. I touch a little bit upon this in my podcast, Quantum Grammar Shoot, uh, and the most latest one, the third one, and you can find that on SoundCloud. It is contingent upon us as live life claimants to maintain the geometric level playing field of the contract. And everything is contract. It doesn't matter um, whether you are speaking, what language you're speaking, let's put it that way, it doesn't matter. Whether it's verbal, written, whether it's from gestures, everything is contract. So ask the question, how do you want to be perceived? Do you want to be misunderstood or do you want to be understood? How do you want to be perceived? Do you want to put forth the best you that you can in the clearest way possible in all scenarios? These are the uh, questions that I ask, you know, myself. And I try my best to maintain a geometric level playing field of contract conveyances, a neutral and peaceful position of the honor and the grace. It doesn't matter who I'm speaking to, whether I'm speaking with friends, family, whether I'm speaking with someone who doesn't have my best interests at heart, strangers, people in positions of authority, <laughs> doesn't matter who I'm speaking to, I maintain that geometric level playing field to the best of my ability and my knowledge and my performances. I keep it as pure and as clean as I can. Now I realize that there are some informal situations with friends where the language may not be as clean as in other more formal situations. And that's fine because that's private and confidential between you and your friends. For me, I maintain that position of honor and grace. I notice in YouTube comment sections, in public quantum grammar Facebook group forums, and other such places, that... Not only do people speak in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, but they are very vulgar. And the spelling is horrendous, even by fiction standards. You will get these people that speak like that, and then they will say, Oh, are you offended by that? It's freedom of speech. It's, you're a snowflake. Well, what that's actually saying is, you, the author of the vulgar comment, has no consideration for your audience or anyone else other than yourself. And that's not an honorable or graceful. It's definitely not a graceful volition. So I stay away from that type of thing. I don't engage in it at all. That's not what I'm about. And I just wanted to bring that up as an example. You, as a, as a position of opinion, you will know a lot about a person by the way they interact in these situations. An honorable and graceful person will react the same when someone tries to insult them or push their buttons as they do with someone who is friendly with them and kind with them. They will react the same. And I'd like to mention... Um, a fellow I used to study, his name is George Gurdjieff, and he has a saying, um, 
to paraphrase him, you'll know the measure of a man when the man is scratched, because an honorable man will remain honorable, but a dishonorable man, then you'll find out who they truly are when they get scratched or hurt or put at a disadvantage. This is where the honor and the grace comes in and the humbleness. Just like everybody else, you know, I don't like being put out there as if I make a mistake, I don't, I don't want to be looked at as a fool, just like anybody else. However, this technology, this correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, commands that if you're going to use it and remain on the rule one, rule equal, level, playing field of performance and contract, you must be humble. And if you make a mistake, you must stop and correct it and eat crow. And I sure have done that in the past, for sure. But that's enabled me to be in the position that I'm in now. And I'm very thankful and humble for those things. And it's just made me stronger as a person. And so to bring it back around to what the original topic is, communication conveyances to the best of my ability and my knowledge I maintain that neutral position of peace, honor, and grace in all of my communications. And you'll find that in all my emails, um, comments, wherever you see me out in the public, you'll see that I maintain that. Have a great day. Thank you.